Good evening. This is Ferry Hemsey. It's 5.10 p.m. on uh, Thursday, October 29th, 2020. Welcome to our first uh, 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 radar screen webinar. This is a technology, uh, or I call it advanced technology webinar. We're not selling you anything. This is not a marketing item. We're just sharing with you what we have done. Down in the future, we'll have something available, but nothing right now. The history of this is very, very simple. I want to get to the point. Uh, it has to do with uh, this combination of uh, two of our indicators. Actually, the first ones in 2020, I'm sorry, 2002. Uh, it's almost 19 years. And come February, will be 19 years. I, I, I included my first two indicators in Trade Station because I was on the forums and they were asking a lot of questions about uh, you know, my put call ratio stuff. And uh, I was actually, I was getting a lot of obviously press on CNBC, so on and so forth. And I said, well, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll share a couple of things with you. But once we get them ready, well, one of them was the CI. Uh, most of you have been with us on the uh, PMT webinars. Uh, I think you've heard enough of it. It's one of my favorite webinars. I mean, the tools. And uh, uh, also a lot of folks like it. I mean, they've been using it for years. Actually, that summer, it picked the bottom that summer, 2002 bottom. Do you remember? I think we made a low in uh, July. And right after that, the turn came. The issue isn't this hit. The issue is this, you know, the turn. That that period that there was about, uh, I think about a month. And a fellow out of Boston came to me and said, Ferry, get ready to get long. I think that we are bottomed out. The selling is finally over. It was a very bad, nasty selling from, uh, oh, I'd say probably uh, 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 March or April of 2002 into July. Anyhow, so more strength to that indicator. We spent more time on it. On it. One of the other indicators we had created is the, that we went together and we put up two indicators first. wasn't actually the CI diff. It was the third one. The second one was called DCI, dual CI. If you go to our uh, uh, web pages, uh, you know, let me show you under products. Hold on, you'll see that uh, we have uh, uh, we have some uh, write ups on that. There we go, and you could see CI and then DCI. Obviously, the CI diff was came after that, but it was so co correlated, people use it so much. It was a double CI, it never took off, we never did anything with it. Some folks used it, but it was hit and miss. The part of the problem was that it was giving you choices, you know. Yeah, you know, uh, when you have democracy, it's messy. Yeah, uh, CIs don't. CIs have one fill. You know, one one uh, input. There we go. That's a ten. If I go to an input there, it allows you to tell you what level the trigger of the color is for the CI. Not the input, just the color, the visualization. Okay, this webinar is very visual. So, the, you know, as I always say, color on the slope, color on the slope is no different. So please pay attention to that. This is just shows you where that trigger is of the color. Where would we see IB for the smoother line to change color? You'll go from a red uh, to uh, gray to green, all right? This, the, the problem with the DCI was, and we tried to avoid that this time, it was uh, you had two inputs. What kind of a duration you want for regular CI, the fast CI and a slow CI? It's like like uh, like a stochastic, okay? People were playing back and forth with this, like accordion. It, it was just... Yeah, you could. You, that was a curve trade. You can, you know, you can make a chart look really, really good. In reality, that's not going to tell you how to trade. You guys are going to get into more trouble than it's worth. So, fast forward to 2019, and it was a pretty boring year trading wise. Pretty much after what you had in 2018 drop, you know, the last, the Q4, the three, three months of the last quarter. Uh, to, 2019 was very slow, and of course, compared to what we have now, <laughs> that's that's. That's a joke. That's a separate issue. But anyhow, uh, what, what 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 happened there was that uh, I was looking at DCI, and I, I was reading an article that it seemed like it was giving me a, a, a idea about how if I massage it, how can I get this to get a little bit more reactive and be consistent? And it's uh, so I played it. I, I draw. I, I was as a derivative. I came up with what this indicator was, and the concept was very, very simple, visual. 
above you should be long, below you should be red, and in between, not neutral, but uh, try to change your bias. You know, going from the longest finish, am, am I going to get red, uh, short or not, for example, this area here. Or, for example, uh, let me go back here. Hold on. Oh. Let's see, go to another name. Let's go to Apple. Okay, let's go to Apple. For example, this is going back. Here's long and here's short. Okay? Notice the colors also. We made it such that the color code would be not following which one is a little bit faster, which one is a little slower. No. But actually, which, which one is above the other? Above is always green, so it changes color on the cross. Okay? And that's just a little coding in trade station. And what was the reason? The reason was if you're short coming in and you cross this line, you get back into this area, you need to take a pause and say, why am I doing this? Okay. I mean, what is the market doing? Why am I still in this trade? Maybe I should be getting long, or at least if I still want to be short, I maybe reduce my exposure. So you should not take action here. Above it, you should be long. Below it, you should be uh, short. Thus, the name DMZ. It was also happened to be where Grampino was in North Korea, was trying to go through DMZ, unannounced, he decided all of a sudden he wants to go there. And I, I think it was one of the final days I was putting my, the last touches to it. I saw him on CNBC at uh, in North Korea, walking over from South Korea to North Korea, crossing the DMZ line, the 38 parallel. And I said, that's it. That's the name of the syndicator, DMZ, demilitarized zone. So that's a neutral area above and below. Anyhow, we, we turned that, we, we put it, uh, finish the code, Without, we always have three, four eclectic types around on the uh, uh, on the indicator side. They're also in their chat rooms. I said, guys, I've got something I'm going to show you. One of those folks who's not here, this has got a family urgency, uh, uh, urgency uh, is Ken Simmons, which also involved with this area here, yeah, the, the red, red screen. I'm trying to lead to that. He was the one who started working on it. There are some inputs to this. You have to optimize the tad if you want to, especially if it's a very high priced asset and, and high volatility uh, because of that. Well, some of the stocks could be high priced and don't have very little, they have very little volatility, like Johnson Johnson. Not counting this year. Not counting this year. This year is unusual. But but when you go to Apple, well, Apple is uh, now is the split. But let's say like Netflix, Amazon, uh, Google. Those are the ones that respond very well to this. You have plenty of move back and forth. Of course, you can even write on any time zone. You just change the parameter. Of the, of the chart. Longer story short, DMZ was born. He and I worked on it. We, we ran different scenarios, ES and Q. Admiral joined us, Admiral Marcus Posito. Admiral joined us, and he started running ES on it, and both short-term and long-term. So DMZ was born. Fast forward again one more time. After the low of, uh, uh, what is that? Uh, of uh, March, you know, as you know, in our webinars, we talked about uh, from when, we, were, when we, we start saying, hey, we're short here, it was October, February 12, 14, somewhere at that time. That hey, we're short here. You see, on, also on PMT, our targets are 18,000. Uh, but first, we have to go go 21.7. 21.7 was the low in December 18. 18,000 was the election of 2016. And then one of you guys, one of the smart Alex here, turned around and said, "Well, what about time? You know, you, if you're so smart, why don't you tell me about time?" I said, "Wait a second. Some people are good at this price. Some crew are good time to the projecting. You're asking me to be good on both, which I can't say that uh, over the years, with all these years of time and digest, that I was good. But sometimes I missed. You know, just trading, a lot of trades, 140 trades with time adjust, digest. So that's one. Secondly, you want this one to be correct. That's another issue. Remember, combination permutation. Not just he wants me to be good on both skills, but he wants me to be good for this trade, the one we're in. So I, I don't want to be rude to anybody. I just said, you know what? Uh, Spring Equinox, just on the top of my head. We don't even think, I swear. Pure luck. And he goes, what, what is that? I said, March 20th. Version New Year. Spring. Renewal. You know, flowers blooming. Usually that and the fall, because of gravitational force of the planet, the sun and the moon and the earth, the way they line up, that's how that seasons change. Usually it has an impact on our minds. It does. There's a lot of work. If you look at Arch for all those guys have said, these are the two favorite days they look for. Aside from other combinations, but these are the two they usually look for. So I called that. Guess what happened? 
March 20th was uh, uh, Friday. Okay. And uh, I'm not doing a little advertisement here, but I'm just trying to bring you some to speed. So March 20th was a Friday. 22nd market opens. We sink to 18,000 on Dow futures. Cash is not open. Dow futures, 18086. 18,086. Remember, we said go short here. Uh, February 12th. I was 296, 29,000. So I think we did okay because the next day we, we had a chance to get long by time of digest. This, this is Sunday night, cash is closed. But Dow Futures got to my target and we rallied and never looked back. Well, life became boring after that, right? So Ken comes to me and he says, uh, Hey, is there a way for me to look at more than one chart at a time with these indicators? I mean, I'm looking at a lot of charts over the weekend. I said, what are you trading on? He goes, well, usually IBD 250, which is a good idea. A lot of people do. So I usually work on IBD 50, not even 250. And I said, you know what? That's a lot of work you're doing. He goes, yeah. Is there any way any of these could be there? Forward again. I said, let me take a look, but I know we haven't done anything on the radio screen for a while. The problem is the speed, the updating. It's got an issue. And so I went back to trade station. I know a couple of buddies there from, oh, 1992, and I said, guys, guys, what are we doing here? The last time I wrote something was when I introduced the CI, so I created the CI for uh, RSI, uh, I mean, for RS, for risk, right there. But, you know, it's never given me a right value. How do I know that? I plot it. I plot it. If these values don't match, it's not working. It was always behind. They said, well, this is not your, you know, version 7 uh, trade session anymore. You're at version 10. We, I also did the radio screen version 10. We have to speed it up. You should be happy. Let's take a look. So we loaded everything coming back in. Now the errors in the coding showed up. See, before we could test it, the numbers were so off. You know, the, the price itself, if I go here, the price itself was bad. Right. Hold on. There we go. The price itself wouldn't match the chart. So I'd given up. Uh, you know, I haven't touched it in years. And there were updates like in version 8, version 9. Test, see it, we'll forget it. 10 solved that problem. Okay. So we did that, and then we put it on the screen. We put a sort on it. This was created. Happy CIRS. Called uh, Admiral, called to Christian, called to Mark Caffrey, and they just got to work. Christian provided us uh, 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 IBD20 in an Excel sheet. I imported it, and we started to sort. Now you get buy and sells. Now, next thing was get the DMZ there. Uh, I have to be absolutely honest with you. There's one piece missing. It's not available tonight yet. As a matter of fact, I just hung up between 4 and 4.20. I was with one of the key guys. Actually, the uh, original, I don't know if he's attending here. He was planning to. Uh, original PM, product manager, Mark, uh, my, I'm sorry, Michael Burke. Of, uh, uh, he's a VP over at the uh, trade station. No, he's not here. Uh, both for uh, radio screen and option station. I got to them through options. You can see he was introducing it to California. As you know, I run the user station, user group there for 10 years in LA. Very large group, a lot of high tech guys, a lot of uh, rocket scientists for like TRW, Northrop, Lockheed, and those guys. And once they retired, you know, how much, how much golf you want to play? How many days you want to go shopping with the wife? You know, at one point you say, you know what? Let me put my brain to work. You need a simulation, a stimulation. And they all came to user group. So he came out. We had a question about option station. I had a question for him. He couldn't answer. Came to me, gave me his card, and said, listen, you and I need to talk. I said, I'll be at your service, sir. We'll be honored. And we, it's a great friendship started there. And to this day, you know, if, we, if there's an issue, I just call or I go over there. Now that I'm here, I'm only 75 minutes. So I'm going to close the story here and say, we have a product that is, we're going to get to some proofs and all that. We have built a product, the teamwork. This is not my work. I'm not going to claim it. This is the teamwork between Christian. Mark Caffrey, Marcus Rizzito, and myself. So we put it together. Of course, Michael Burke in the background trying to show us. We have a little problem in the DMZ. It's an enhancement. The code is right. If you check it, everything matches. Pick, pick, a, pick a name, any name. Look at it. You'll see right now it's, going, it's about to go to a buy. You see that, that cross? And what we're trying to do is do a secondly confirmation based on uh, the DMZ now. Remember, DMZ is going to be a little slower. That's CI. Okay, for that, now I'm going to pass on the baton to uh, Marcus Posito. But this is where we arrived. Uh, 
because of that combination of early warning system. Okay, this is your like NORAD radars, you know, over over Canada. Uh, this is where you're sitting at uh, SAC headquarters, and you want to flush the bombers, but you gotta get confirmation that you're gonna flush the bombers. That's a sequence that comes in. With that said, I'm gonna bring up a worksheet that we have. And by the way, we have contemplated even sharing that. Uh, by the way, this is gonna go, I'm sorry, one more thing. Radar screen indicators, we all put out, we have two products now on Happy. Happy and Happy Pro. Happy Pro had some radar screen stuff in there in plenary mode, we've taken them all out. If you have it on your machine, they're gonna be fine until end of the, I think this quarter. Then they're gonna stop working because we move it. Why? This is happening too fast. This data changes too fast. Okay. On every tick, it's coming in. We use encryption, obviously, to protect our IP. The encryption here had to be faster. So we created a new class of product there called Happy Pro Plus. This is an institutional grade product. Institutions love this. And the three folks here that we're going to talk about, they, they, they run money and they run reasonable good size and they're for institutions. You'll see how they use it. Uh, so we, we created that and uh, we, we we will set up, if the pages are not set up, we will comp you right now. If you want to have it, wait for us to get through the weekend, send us your user ID and I will send you your code for it to, to be available on it, okay? It's our highest class of the indicators. So you have, it includes the Happy Pro and Basic Happy. Uh, so they're all together. Now, what are we going to show you? What we're going to show you is the end results. What matters is the end result. And we have discussed possibility of sharing that with you, with you folks uh, uh, as, a, as, a, as a view only. You can't go in and change things, okay? But you can go in there and see what we have done and how this thing goes. We've created a Google Sheet that shares everything in real time. It uses data we have traded. It uses, uh, 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 it uses I don't know what this is. Uh, Mark, this is, what is this? The puts on 07, if you take a look at it. So we can share, we can look at what the screen is flagging. And remember, there's gonna be a cycle. You know, you're gonna be on the downside, you're gonna get buys. You're on the upside, you're gonna get sells. I mean, you should have seen the the, the triggers. Uh, yeah, triggers that uh, these were the, the sell signals. These things were sells were all the way down here. That was given uh, when we were up here. Well, when the stock markets were up here. If you take, for example, I don't know if we have a spy here or not, but uh, if we the spy, okay. Well, we were about here, right about here. Everything was on a sell. Everything. Why? So high up. So with that said, let me get the, the experts on this. I'm just a poor dumb immigrant, do some coding here, you know. Code like immigrant, that's the key, yeah. Uh, so with that said, let me pass this on. Uh, Mr. Esposito, better known, better known as Admiral Espo. So can you hear me? Yes, sir. All right. Yeah. Uh, so when Fari brought this to me with uh, Christian and explained to me what they were doing, uh, I took an interest in looking at it and through uh, a radar screen uh, as one of my workspaces on TradeStation. So now instead of having 15 workspaces, I got 16. Um, and what I was doing was following this for the first week and a half, two weeks to understand uh, how they were using it and what was the, the possible strategies that can be created from it. So uh, once that happened, uh, you could see uh, already completed trades on the top left here of the spreadsheet. Uh, I put positions on based upon those indicators and uh, those positions are there. Uh, the first one was ENTG and what I did there was uh, I got across and then I looked at what I thought to be a confirmation which I'll explain when we go back to the radar screen and I built uh, an option strategy. I put on the long uh, 80, 70 uh, put vertical and uh, we try and put these on for the uh, shorter time frame because these moves, when they happen, they happen within a shorter period of time. You don't need to go far out in time where you're dealing with a lot of premiums. Obviously, if you're dealing with a shorter time frame, you're gonna get uh, more of movement per delta. Uh, in the position you create. So I put that position on and uh, pretty quickly, uh, I entered it for 250 for that 10 point vertical and I sold it for 360. 
Uh, so that was that was an easy trade. Uh, the next one is EXPI, and that was even uh, an even easier trade. Uh, the indicator told me it was time to get short. I bought a November 20th expiry, the 55 put 10 times. I paid $5. Uh, and within a couple of days, I didn't have my entry and ex exit dates here, but within two days, I was able to sell that same put for $7. So that was $2 on a 10 lot. Uh, I put on a position in Roku, and uh, you could see what happened in Roku. Uh, uh, it, initially, it was just a put position. And then what happened, which I'll explain when we look at one of these radar screens, uh, I had to morph it into uh, stock inputs because I wasn't getting a definitive negative signal to take me uh, straight down like the previous two trades I just described. And then what happened is when I did get the move I was looking for, I was able to maintain my uh, bias of short, which is what the indicator is telling me. I was able to scratch the stock and get out of the put for 840. Uh, TTGT was the next one. Uh, that was, uh, I thought, a beauty because the uh, indicator looked solid to me. So I created the 50, 40 December vertical. And the reason why I went to December on that, there was uh, not a lot of liquidity in these. So you gotta be very cognizant of the names you're dealing in, making sure that they are highly capitalized and there is liquidity in the options. Uh, if there's no liquidity in the options, uh, it's not gonna do you any good trying to put on a strategy because it's going to cost you too much to get it on. Uh, if you have a way to sell stock short, that would be the ultimate, ultimate way to get short if you have the capital to do that when there is no liquidity in the options and it's giving you a strong sell signal. Uh, if you look at number seven in CSIQ, I initiated that position with uh, creating a long 40 put position. And then what happened with CSIQ, uh, which helped me uh, determine how I should look at the, re, uh, the the definitive confirmations of our signals with the radar screen. The CSQ was one of my first positions that I built. And I put on 40 puts and I got caught speeding a little bit. It didn't confirm to the downside 100%. So what I did was I massaged it a little bit and I made it into a little bit of back spread. And I still kept the negative bias. I then rolled into a uh, a different put that was higher strike because I bought stock and the stock was going the other way. And it turned out to be a, a very difficult position for me to maintain. And you could see the end result when I say exit, I lost uh, $7,200 totally on that position, but that was a very uh, large position. It was probably three or 4,000 shares of stock and over a hundred puts. Too big, too soon in the very beginning of understanding what I was trying to get from what the radar screen was showing me. So that was a, a lesson that I learned with uh, what to look for, what's my confirmation, yeah. and obviously dealing with the uh, smaller size. of uh, You could see the ones above it were smaller, not as big as that one, and I was very successful with those. Uh, and if you look at the bottom, I have current positions going in uh, PWR, FIZZ, LMNX, AMRC, and those positions are active. I have uh, PNL uh, that's positive on three of the four, uh, and I have not taken it off because I'm looking for higher exit price than uh, where, where, where they're trading at. It looks like they're just beginning. But what I found to be really significant from this exercise over the first two and a half weeks is being able to understand uh, when I see something that's real uh, and positive as far as a confirmation of the CI across. And uh, as an example, I think ENTG and e EXPI, they went much, much further lower than where I got out. I probably could have doubled my profits on all of those. But once again, I'm learning how to use the system and I'm interacting with it by putting in uh, my knowledge of options and ability to read the charts. So uh, what we should do, uh, let's pull up the radar screen, Fari, and let's pull up, uh, let's pull up one of the positions. For example, let's pull up T sure. TTGT. Yes, sir. One second. In the radar screen. And let's see if I could Give me just recreate one second. what happened there. Let me just do one more thing. I'm trying to uniform these. 
One second. This is Mark put in. Uh, Mark Caffrey. There we go. There's no 20. So, okay. Uh, Mark, Mark Esposito. Later on, we need uh, expression on this one. On ENTG. Okay. We got a chance. There's exp I'm sorry. Not expression. Yeah. The, 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 That's no 20. ENTG oh. is no 20. Yes, uh -huh. Let's set that in. Sorry. I'm a stickler for detail. On data. All right, good. Good, good, good. All right, so here we go. So we're putting which one are we putting on? T T G T. Tom Tom George Tom. Let me go down there. Yeah, this this saves you a lot of headache. T T uh G T. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Here we go. Okay, there we go. Okay. All right. So uh when you look at the cross, you could kind of get an idea of the date of when that happened, which is right there, which was uh, I don't know if you can see the date. I'm going, draw, I'm going to draw a line. One second. One second. Okay. Here's a CI cross. There we go. There's your CI cross. The date was 14th, October 14th. So when I see the cross, we get the alert on the radar screen here. So if you fire it were to go back to the very sure. top names where the alerts are being shown uh, oh, on the radar screen. Oh, right, on the radar. Radar. Yeah, yeah. You're talking about the sort Yeah, of scroll all the way back. Well, I gotta go sort, and then I'll go up. Oh, okay. Hold on. What happened? What happened? Hold on. Hold on one second. Hold on. Are we doing a bit ask up there? Okay, we don't need that. Okay. This is what you want. Okay, fine. All right. And then let me. Huh? Okay. So hold on one second, uh, guys. Hold on. Okay. There you go. Okay. There we go. Is that what right, you want? So, yes. Uh, on the day that it crossed, I get this action signal, which is how the system works. And we're working on something else that will make this, uh, I think, uh, very much better than it is for us to be able to follow through. Now, it, it pops up on it, it pops up on this screen as a buy or sell. T T G T was a sell. At so at if time, you look at that time, yeah, at that time. Right. And if you pull up the, if you put the chart next to it, if you can, sure. right. where we were just at. There we go. So when I got that cross, all right, now I see the cross, I see where it's happening, but you notice as Fari just described to everybody, the DMZ, see the DMZs right, these, area? These two lines, these two lines, yeah. Where, they, where they're gapped apart, look where right. the cross is taking place. To the, right almost to the heart of where there begins a DMZ where there's a space. Right, right. So what I learned from the two or three names, especially the CSIQ name where I faltered in, is that, okay, I see the cross. It's directional to the downside. But you know what I want? I want something that's going to give me more of a confirmation that this is really happening. Right. So what do I wait for? it? I'm waiting for it to pass through the top part of the ZM and touch the lower part of the DMZ, which is, oh. uh, as you can see, uh, let me see. The I'm cross, one, too. two, three, four. Uh, it's this one. It's this one right, right there. there. Yeah. Right there. Right. I'm going to do From that. From there. This is the. Now, this one, we would change the this the weight a little bit. That we would change the style to solid. Okay. That's your entry. And the change is going to be color. Of course, it has to be red. So that's what you try and do, right? Signal. Right. Set up actual entry. Jump in. So if you follow the CI, how we've learned to read CI and DMZ, and you follow CI, you've got the cross. Right it's there. heading down uh, to the here. south, go, heading through the DMZ, heading downward, and look at the bars of the CI dip. Well, obviously, when you have a cross, you normally go from up upward to downward or downward to upward, depending right. on, obviously, if it's down versus up. But what does the confirmation of touching the lower part of the DMZ mean? We're exiting the DMZ. Look at the size of the CI diff bar. It's a it's it's a bar that's of considerable magnitude. Right this down way. here, right there. Right there. That to me is showing me that once I look at the previous history of the CI diff bars all the way left to the left, here, here. on the bottom, right here, uh, on the bottom. Notice that that extent of that bar exceeds any okay. previous crosses Ooh. downward. That's right. That's so right. <laughs> that that exit uh, of hitting the that entry of hitting the DMZ downward red area and getting ready to pass through it, that was my confirmation. That was when I built the short strategy. Mm -hmm. 
and you see what happened after that. So now when I'm looking at these different opportunities, I'm waiting for scenarios to give me that indicator and confirmation, which Fari, way, and I are, Fari and I are working on something to that end. This one, the one that you're looking for, I just hung up at Mark Burke. He thinks he's having a code three tonight. Okay. But, but, but I have to visually go through it, show it to him, show some of the stuff and say, this is what I want. And not just on these black marks and what I don't want. We gotta make sure these programmers, if you don't tell them what you what you don't want, they may put that in there too. So that took a little bit longer. Problem is that he was off a couple of days, but obviously we'd have had it here today. So what that did is it gave me a higher degree of confidence that the probability of the spread I was going to be creating was more than likely be a winner. And now of uh, a majority of the positions, if not all of them, I'm implementing this checks and balance of when to put a trade on. But, so. But by the way, what Mark is talking about will translate to an alert to you, a box that would pop. And you can control how long it should be on as the, these bars are moving. Okay? As these bars are moving, you will get special alerts. You can control how long it should be on. And of course, you remember on TradeStation, uh, you have a uh, – let's see. I'll bring it over. There's a message box. If you go to a TradeStation, there's what's called message center. Hold on. Let me bring that over. Here's your thing. It's called Massic Center. So your signals will be recorded here. They won't go away. Okay. You can go back and take a look at what it said, obviously. But that's what we're working on so that you have a confirmation of what the events are in a sequence. So you, 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 you can't just go through and you miss it. It's going to bombard you and say, depending on you know, how many you're looking at, obviously, how many, how many action items we have. I'm sorry. It's chart-based. So it's only that name that you have on. Sorry. That chart name. The, the next version of it is that it's going to be also radio screen based, which would be a couple of days extra. So by the time we get you guys into a better test, these things should be done. So use, using the, the combination of, of the initial indicator on the radar screen, which is the action buy and sell, and then what I do every day is I review these buys and sells, and Fari, pull one of them up, for example, pull up uh, uh, like a net, NET. Let's see okay. if, what's going on sure. with that name. And it, this is uh, up here, right, oh. right up there in the act. It's actionable. Go back. Go back. See okay. it? Uh, oh yeah, there we go. Uh, go. Oh wow. All right. So. Oh wow. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. so you you got a cross. Yeah. Okay. Now there, the cross is happening at roughly around, I'll say 55, probably 55, 60 or 70, up there to uh, keep coming. Here you come. One more. Right. One more. Yep. Oh. There's your there your or the right there, okay. okay. Right. That's your cross, yeah. Yep. All right. So and now, sense. now what I'm waiting for is, I'm waiting for. The, I mean, that would tell me that I well, should get short. Okay. Right. So now, where do I get short? Right here, right now, today. Yeah, yeah. Once that hits that line, I'm going to create a short position. Now, yes, am I giving up uh, a few shekels? Yes. Uh, because I'm waiting for the confirmation. Yes. But let's pull up another name. Uh, where it gives us a similar type of cross. Let's try. Uh, I, I, I will. There you go. I just want to make sure this really remember when we go back, it remembers what name you assigned these and bring it back. So, okay. uh, so what else would you like? Which one? So I'll pull up my my name. I got. I lost money in CSIQ, which will be alphabetized. Oh yeah. See if I can recreate what happened and how. Okay. I was premature in my this strategy. One. CSIQ. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So. Uh, if you see the cross, uh, the cross, <laughs> it's kind of funny. You see where the cross happened here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shoot. Wow. Okay. And, and you have a kiss here. Wow. See where, see you got a cross? Yeah. Right there. And now it, it's coming down. It's coming through DMC and looking to go. But guess what? It it's didn't like hit it. It didn't hit it. it the, the red bar, it popped up. Yeah. And it's still in DMZ. And that's where I got caught speeding. Uh, okay. so they clean your I, clock. They clean I, your I clock. created the position on the cross. Right, and right. The cross didn't give me a confirmation of what I was looking for. If you look at the, the CI dip bars on the bottom, when we get through minus three or minus three and a half, that's when this thing starts to fall apart. Yeah, this is this would have been your entry right there. Because yes. If, if you move, let me move it around to show it to you. It has to... Oh, actually, the one before. 
They won't. This is the one. It has to cross through what? It's not a strong one because it's not going to both, but drifted down. But that's. But it I'm went through, and that's yeah. that's enough yeah. for me to maintain right. maintain that it's a short because I haven't. You know, you've crossed back up, but it did a skip. It crossed up and came right back down. Right. Yeah. This is so this on is that. It. Yeah. So dash is the setup. Entry is solid. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So what happens with a lot of these is the initial crosses, uh, and you could pull up, you know, you could pull up most of these names. They're going to have a cross because they have CI div. Uh, just pull up something like uh, uh, I don't even I haven't looked at it, but pull up like CMI. That's a big stock. Let's see what that looks like. Okay. Uh, line number seventy nine. See it? Okay. I'm going to wait one second. Line number what's 79? 79. Yep. Okay. I'm about what I see it. C CMG, you mean? No, yep. that's 80. You want CMG or CMI? It's, it's, either one's fine, but you can see here. This I, is, I like CMG as much. CMG is a bigger There you price. go. So, yeah. so you get a cross, okay? And, and, and where are you seeing the cross? You got an upward cross here, right? Yeah. Down here to the right. Come to the right. Oh, you here, you're there. Come all the way, come all the way to the right. Well, this right? one, it just yeah. Yeah, but it's not red yet, though. So you know, no, no, soft. no. Over to over to the left. I want to show you the the the, the what was going on with the cross yeah, up. You, you mean this one? Okay. Is this it, the one you're talking it, about? This one? There, see how they're skipping back and forth? Yeah. Okay. All right. So I'm I'm not getting any real true defined confirmation of which cross is the right cross A. OK, because we're, we're below the DMZ here and we're getting a cross up and you're not really getting any extended CI diff bars. So I, I wouldn't touch this until I get something more definitive, which is over here to the right. Yep. Right there. Right there. Yeah, exactly. When it goes when it goes through to the upside on that on that cross or skip, and then you can see the extension of the CI diff bars in the bottom. They're all extending beyond like three or four. And then you're starting to see a true move to the upside, which it did. Yeah. And then, you know, then you've got, then then you're coming back the other way right now. And look how fast you went from top to bottom and just fell apart completely. Yeah. Have everybody following what's going on here? Any questions right now? Any questions right now, guys? Or is is it clear what we we were talking about besides being some gibberish in there? Okay. Pull up ENTG, if I read. ENTG. Eddie, oh. Nancy, Tom, George, which was the the first one. ENTG, okay. Obviously, you have to do some work. There's no question about it. But we're we're adapting this for the. Uh, it, 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 Gerald, it's yeah, it's it's a mechanical thing, yeah. I was, it's, so uh, this is this was one on this is one of my favorites, obviously. Okay. Well, <laughs> I mean, we're, this we're, was, Simon, we'll look at that too. Hold on, we'll look at that. Go this ahead, was sir. pretty easy to look at because I mean, you looked at the top there. It's made a strong rally, which Kristen, Christian has made me aware of. A lot of these stocks were really peaking and raise, have been on a, a mad run to the upside. And if you look at this one on the far right, come over to the far right, right? I will. All I, will, the way I, will to the right. I will. I will. Just let me mark this. Let me go forward. Okay. Far right. This one? That cross. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Very cool. There we go. Okay. Now, the All right. question is, why can't these be joined automatically? The problem is that they have false positives. This is so that's I, that's telling me that it's going south. It's initiated. It's a good spec if you want to take a spec, but I want a confirmation. Mm -hmm. So what am I waiting for? I'm waiting for it to start to break in into the uh, DMZ zone from the upper band. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is the one. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. And then now, now I'm watching the action of the stock because this has made a huge huge move to the upside and um, it needs a correction regardless of the the technology it's way way overbought uh, and you can tell that by the C ci diff is turned completely right up there so what i what i did once is i once i got the cross indicator there i started looking for strategies and and that's when i went in and uh when it went and touched the CI, the uh, red DMZ on the bottom, that's when I created my position. This one, this one. The one, yeah, the, I think the one next to it was the one that touched it. 
This one. This to the left. To the left. Oh, to the right left. There. Yeah, right yeah. where you had it. That yeah, yeah. Bar there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And you can see by the, the extension of the CI disks in the bar at the bottom, I thought that four to six was an area that the, the, the CI diff bars needed to get to to legitimize it being a confirmation to the downside. And that was when I created my position. Now, you look at that and you say, okay, I'm looking at that. What, am, what else am I looking for? Well, I'm looking for areas that if I have a winner on, I could make a decision. Do I want to just take X percent as a possible capture of premium of a profit? Absolutely. You know, no profit is a loss is how I've always looked at that. So what I'm adding to the mix here is trying to read through the indicators, read the look of the graph, and where do I think this puppy has a place to stop? Well, the way I look at graphs, this thing is probably, uh, I would have looked at it as being 74 as an area it could come down to uh, back because of how I'm looking at the graph as a whole. And also I'm looking at the, uh, the, the CI diff, uh, how it's built its momentum. And if you look at the CI diff bars, how they're all peaking. And as we all know how to read the CI diff bars, when they start to become lesser than the previous one and they become lesser of that previous one, uh, that tells us that it's losing its velocity to the downside. And then, okay. you know, what will eventually happen is the CI disk bars uh, all of a sudden will look like an organ turned upside down. And you'll see how it's uh, pointed. Show them on the bottom part of CI disk oh, bars. No, no, that's it. That's, oh, these, these, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. See yeah. how they, they are creating an upside down organ bar in the right, rafters right. of the cathedral. And as those bars get shorter and shorter and not extending anymore, notice what's happening. It's because the stock is running out of its velocity to the downside. It's starting to um, have a few upticks. And then you finally got a strong green bar, which looks like it's changing the momentum finally, which hasn't happened yet. It hasn't turned out. But that's how I'm using the, uh, the radar screen. It's how I'm using the uh, the CI, the CI diff, it's how I'm using the DMZ. Um, and uh, it's pretty spectacular. If you consider in just two weeks, uh, you know, how many trades did I create in two weeks, like eight or 10? Mm -hmm. And I could have, you know, speculated on more, but I'm looking for those that are confirmations exactly what I want. And I think when Fari and Michael Burke are able to complete the last phase of uh, the specs of the architecture that I'm asking him to design, it's going to make this a whole bunch easier because what will happen is you'll have uh, two columns. You'll have the happy CI diff RS, and then you'll have another column that's going to uh, pick up on when that confirmation that I'm talking about happens. Because currently right now, when you get your radar screen, uh, you get uh, your signals for the crosses. If uh, that cross eventually fades or days go by, it slips out of being in the top uh, names and it goes back into the alphabetization of those names and you've got to keep track of where you're at and what you're watching. Uh, a confirmation of the next uh, DMZ confirmation will keep that front and center uh, for us to be able to see so you can stay on top of the names that are indeed uh, a high probability confirmation of the direction that was initially given by the, the Happy CI Diff radar screen. Um, one second, guys. Okay, and then let me. So you. there's two things to, to keep in mind when you're trading this with options. Make sure you're dealing with a, a stock that's got decent capitalization. Mm -hmm. And more importantly, when you pull up your option screen to look at the respective expiries, Make sure there's open interest mm -hmm. in the option mm -hmm. names and the mm -hmm. strikes in the months. Because if you go into a name and the entire open interest of the entire stock is, you know, anything less than three to 500, you're, you're going to get in and you're going to pay to get in, but you're not getting out. You got to have a liquid name option wise as well. Unless you just want to buy you buy or sell stock based on the sound of the signals, then you're in control of everything. I've got three questions here. Let me answer them quickly. Gerard, and then the folks have more questions coming. I mean, we're going to have also chat by uh, Mark Caffrey here. Uh, he's using it for our option room, actually. This, this technology is being used there. And actually, you see in the system here that he's taken two, two, two positions on. I think one is open. 
the other one is uh, closed. No, actually, no, third one. It's got raw core, and then uh, Peloton and SDDG, and one is two are closed, one is open. Uh, just the beginning. We're not putting it. We're not betting the farm. We're just starting to slow. We gotta understand it. The problem with new technology is that you have to also build the rules. So here we're a little bit easier because it's coming some common sense in there. But we get better as we go forward. Uh, Gerard is asking, uh, what are the DMZ lines over the chart candles are based upon? Well, that's a proprietary indicator. But I mentioned in the early part of the webinar, you may have, you may have missed it uh, getting in. Uh, it was recorded. You can watch it. It goes back to the dual CI, not just the regular CI, but we had our second indicator. CI was our first indicator. The second indicator was dual CI. Third was CI diff. So people ask what they say. Is there any way I can see the difference between these two? The problem with DCI was the dual CI. You had two, two inputs. You had A and B. Once you get that to people, they create a soup. Because they can play with it. It becomes a toy. You keep on changing it, you're not going to learn anything yourself. And you always look for a perfect solution of the past. Guess what? Future is very different than the past. This is the past. If it's on a chart, it's the past. It's already happened. You, 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 you need to think about what this bar is going to be. Not the one you're in. Tell me what the SPX is going to finish tomorrow. I'll, I'll, I'll pay anything you want. Okay? <laughs> think forward. It's based on that then, Gerard. But we don't get involved without disclosing our code. But suffice to say, it's a dual CI. We massaged it a little bit, and we made this up. And one thing we added, color coding, which was that the top line, no matter which color, it, which uh, uh, line it is, because these lines usually are just like CI is. One is the main signal, okay? The other one is smoother, okay? And you can see you can follow it. We switched here we, we, to the concept of coloring and said the top line is always green, no matter which part, which one it is. Is it the fast one or the, the smooth one? Is green. The bottom is red. Why? Inside becomes the militarized zone. And it was time that Trump was at the North Korea with the, uh, Chairman Kim. And they were actually, he was crossing from South Korea to North Korea. He was on TV, and I told Ken, Ken Simmons, I said, he's, he cannot make a webinar here today. Uh, he sends his regards. He's, I, he goes, uh, uh, he says, I, finally, I think we're ready. I said, I think so too. I see that CNBC, they're showing that. I said, that's the name, DMZ, demilitarized zone. Why? In between, you should pause. Just like Berlin Wall. If you cross to Checkpoint Charlie, they would have shot you. You had to stop. So if you're short and keep banging up, you're going into trouble. If you're long and it drops, look at the drop on Tesla. You're going to get killed. You know, it, yes, it did come back, but with this volatility, anyway, if you work for somebody, you'll be fired by them. If you work for yourself, you can get by because you report yourself. But that's not good trading. This forces you to doing good trading. Uh, Ke Craig Kendall asks, and he's a money manager, do you just do daily bars? No, you have the choice. You can go and change that. You can change what you want. Yeah, you can. I don't know if you can change from here to there. Uh, you can do it manually. You go to symbol, uh, timetable, let's say let's say hourly. This changes to hourly. I, this day, I don't know how to do that yet. I have to ask them. Uh, the time frame there have to be I I would think they would. Okay. Now, why is it popping like this? Because you're different servers. Daily daily servers are very different because you need high low close. And I'm sorry, open high low close on volume. You get into uh, less than uh, daily. Now there's a lot of data you gotta take, and how you take it: five minute bars, fifteen minute bars, what have you. So they dump it to you. I think function of one minute bars, and then it loads it. Okay. So you download one time. We can create all kinds of uh, different time frames there. By the way, PD means that it's still downloading. Okay, I can't wait for this. By the way, this takes some data, no question. Two hundred fifty names. For this, I need. I love the the hot fire that's coming in here with the one gigabit uh, band bandwidth. Right now we're at five hundred. So, well, last three days we were nothing. That was a different problem from my phone. <laughs> Anyhow, let me move forward. It's Jason, yes, sir. Could you perhaps look at the large caps? Of course. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can do anything. You can do anything. Uh, the, the reason we were looking at IBD 50 is that they move fastest because of high beta. I think that Netflix would fit that category as high beta. To some, I don't know what Amazon beta is, but you could look at Zoom should. Amazon, I think Zoom, we have Zoom. I'm pretty sure we have Zoom uh, because Christian have been trading it. 
Yeah, Christian is a money manager, is very eclectic. His life is registered, so he can't say much, but he's a great listener and he's great ideas. And uh, of course, you know, I see opportunity between working with Mark Caffrey, Mark Esposito, and him. I get to work my contributions to program and get working in that realm. They should have us. There you go. There's a Zoom there. Boom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. When you get up there, and I would switch that to daily. Uh, uh, when you get to that level of something of that price of four hundred dollars, you you most likely you're going to introduce volatility. And so uh, this is uh, this is uh, this is something you want to play uh, because this this takes some of the noise out. Yeah, I've I've even considered setting up some of the part of a fund that I'm running. With, ex with exposure, and I mean, permission to have the, uh, the uh, stakeholders that we set up an uh, option uh, fund, option using this technology. It's, it's, it's really, really great stuff. Yeah, thank you. So, yeah, so we can do that. Zoom is there. I can put in the Am uh, uh, Amazon. I, I, you know, we don't go by, we've added, by the way, this is some of the stuff we've added. Market cap. You need to know what your market cap is. And this computes in real time. As the prices come in, it changes it. So we've added a lot of different indicators there. We will ship you the TSW file, this file, this, this uh, uh, watch list, as a template. You can you can change it. You can add your stuff on it. I don't know what IMUU is doing there. Let me take that out. But let's say we put Amazon in there. Okay, boom. So it should come that fast. Of course, that went up all the way up. Let's see. The whole idea is to keep you out of trouble. That's all. Amazon. Oh, we have already oh, has Amazon. Sorry. Okay, that's why that's why we loaded so fast. And it's not uh, it's not actionable you right now. Uh, if you go here, let's see. There's your Amazon. Yeah. Uh, remember also look at the color codes. Ideal entries are given when they're sold off or or overbought for shorts. Okay. Keep that in mind. Look at look at that drop. I don't know how many. How many, how many, just three, four hundred points right there, that drop. Yeah. You want the sell-off to be, the, the, you want the smoother line of CI to be color code, to be in the, not in gray, either green or red. And that's the move you want to look at. So you're going to go long here, short there. Pending, what did that one talk about? Confirmation by this module that we're finishing for DMZ. And DMZ diff, we, we, what we're adding is, we are, we got the DMZ diff plotted. But we're going to add the action. This is going to be a fourth column there. Okay, we're going to add a fourth column just like this, so it becomes action. Right now, we don't have it because it's finished. It's not finished. So hopefully tonight. Of course, we're going to test it a couple of days. It's going to run. No, no, it's going to run your computer. No, no, this is local. There's no. But for us guys, a good question. Do we want this? Do we want on a Skype? No. I'm I'm done with the Skype panel channels. There's so much I can run from here. No, 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 no. Yeah, we want one here and three in the center of California. No, no. This is you run yourself. We give you this. We give you, a, you all you need is trade station. And radio screen is free. We give you this. Uh, we, we, every once in a while, we'll update. We're more than happy to share the update to you because of this list is going to change. IBD 250 is going to change. On the bottom, you add your stuff on. Or you keep it in the Excel sheet. Once we send you this, you copy and paste it. You go basically to the bottom, all the way down. Why are we not going down? Hold on. Over here. There you go. Hold up. Come on, Jack. Let's go. Okay, so you, you come down here, and then you add it down there, your list, whatever you want to add, and then immediately it it, uh, it sorts it, okay? It sorts by uh, action, and they'll go alphabet. If his action is blank, it's alphabet. So you can find it. Do you need... Yes, you need a trade station. Yes, of course. But you put 500 bucks there, they give you the data. I mean, they give you the platform, and the radio screen is free. You know, a thousand bucks there, there, or you can trade there, yeah. And you get the option the station too, so you can go immediately from here. You can open up the op option station, it's integrated. And option station is something Admiral and I've talked worked with them for several years now. It's not what it used to be. We have kicked ass over there. Uh, not for my there we go, option station pro. So, and you can link these. So, the moment you look at a symbol, the, the uh, your chain goes there, boom, ready to go, yeah. We work with them to create some of their uh, uh, hypothetical analysis work done. Okay, so that uh, but you can see this code. That's blue. So I go there and make that blue. Is that a? Uh, is that global? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
So I go to blue, and then okay, I need to make this global. One second, global blue. So when I go to option station, okay. So if I move, let's go to UPS, and I come back here. UPS is it already? So that's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. It is. I'm going to say to subscribe. Yeah, sure, sure. So there's no subscription at the beginning. It's free. It's free. Yeah, later on it'll be upper class. This is institutional. We we'll, we'll figure out the pricing. I don't know what the pricing is even. But go make some money first. But here's what I want from you, Manish. Feedback. Yeah. When we do free trials, it's not for you guys to have a free time and just have you go lucky. No, 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 no. We want feedback. Why? Because we're building the product. We're building both the analytical part and also the website part. And we usually do it for set four weeks, you know. We've extended that, but right now, but we're not. We can't go after the end of December. Here's the reason: Co uh, keys have to change, right? So we're cutting it off two weeks to go. Now a few days extra, it won't matter, but it won't be past Christmas, trust me. So, so our bug. If you come in now, you get more free time. You get uh, two weeks free time. Yeah, but it won't go past Christmas. Why? The keys have to go out for for the Q1 for 2021. So, so send me your user ID. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Do not send me this. Hold on. Don't send me customer number. We're not interested in that. We need your login, but not the password. Okay? Don't trust anybody, including me. You cannot. You cannot. With emails, because going to emails, anybody could see it. You can trust me, but I don't trust my emails. You know what I'm saying? And from your email to my email. So don't. Just the user ID, the login, the one that allows you. Here, let me turn this off for a second. I turn this off. Okay. Work I like. No. Work offline. Now I want to log back in. When I go to log back in, this one. You want me to give me this one. Never give this one out. Give me that one and we're good. Okay. And I can set it up now. Just keep in mind, we have created a new class of product for that. And why? Again, this happening too fast. So because we have a heartbeat which is encrypted, it has to every so minute, for example, change the encryption. This we're changing every in sub sub second, less than a second, it changes itself. The reason it does this now, nobody can copy it. Yeah, we, you know, I was part of a team that actually worked on the version seven on that had to do with the encryption because a couple of smart Alex in the NSA, they were using supercomputers at Cray in their parking, the Cray supercomputer, trying to break the code. So, uh, what's the price point? Around 250 a month. So, right now, we're at we're at five, and we'll, we'll build quarterly because of the key. Yeah. It's the same as if you were doing a chat room, basically. I mean, option room. Uh, except you don't have to sit there. Plus, you can do your own. Uh, right now, I think we're five or 550 for the pro. This will be a couple of bucks for the quarter. This will be a couple of bucks extra. Yeah. I, I don't know what we price it. Honestly, I don't know. But I think if you go here, here's the... Uh, Here's the basic, right? It's 300 for a quarter, the basic. If you go to Pro, uh, that's uh, 500. That's 500, I'd say. So this would be 750. Yeah. But it pays for itself instantly. So this is what I'm thinking. We're not sure. That's our last piece of the puzzle. And you get up front free time, and you may decide, hey, this is not for you. I understand that. Uh, but uh, uh, but that, that's fine. Uh, but we're giving you, we're going to give you tools, including sharing this page, not forever, okay? And, uh, uh, but, but for some time, too, as the A, just like we do with AQ trading and so forth, we're trying to, Jesus, this market is melting down. Yeah, I'm glad I closed everything, yeah. Uh, yeah, Apple, Apple, the guidance was poor. Uh, and I've got friends who are uh, short puts. Are they? Yeah, they're short puts. I told him. Don't do this before earnings. You mean Apple is going to miss? <laughs> I said, it's a market. It's not Apple. It's a market re It's a market reaction to the numbers. So I'm so sorry. But, but you would have that for some time. Now, if you are happy pro customer already, we're going to grandfather you. Not, not a happy, but happy pro. We'll grandfather you in for the pro plus to the end of next December. So one, one smart way is going to become a, uh, what do you call it? Become a, Remember here. So you have, you have, you have one year for pricing. Does that make sense, Gary? Yeah. Okay. I'm not, I think I don't know what's happening right now. 
if I wanted to take a look at this, please. You have to be, have trade station. You need to get indicators. You need. To, Simon is asking. I don't use trade station. I'm not on anything other than OTF flight right now. Correct. What would I need to if I want to take a look at this? You need trade station. And uh, and I can if you go to our group advisor, which is in out of Chicago, we don't get anything for it. So you know we don't get no feedback. Remember, we're advisors. They're brokers. We can't get anything. It's a Chinese wall. Peter Alvino in Chicago is like second man in command. He solves problems. He's a really smart guy. Mark, both Mark Caffrey and Marcus. We've also opened their account with him. They have been happy ever since. I mean, Mark uh, suppose he has been there, I don't know, four or five years. Uh, he was introduced to me by uh, one of the executives down from Florida when I was in Chicago. Uh, probably I've known him four or five years up there and since then here. So about 10 years I know him. Straight shooter, no BS, but he gets you through if you have any. For example, one of the issues we have had is complex entities. When you have a Offshore LLC, for example, this guy can get you through again fixed. Uh, and they, but they cut you a feed, uh, cut you a, a package in terms of you, you don't pay for a while. They, they try to take care of you. So, but so you can put some money up there to trade, like a couple of thousand, or or uh, you can also subscribe to it. You can use the subscription they have. I think it's like three hundred bucks a month. It's much easier to put your money in there. Yeah, and you get your money back when you're done. That is, this is the this is it. We don't do anything else. The whole idea is, it's not stocks. This is for stock options, but it, it, the, the underlying is the same. The question is, what's the basic setup I need to look at the stock indicators? Uh, th we have two packages: the very basic, raw indicators, okay, and the pro. Pro is more sophisticated, has some indicators that could be used, but right now uh, we, we're creating what was going to be. Pro Plus, uh, mainly because it's for institutions, and you can you see, see by, for example, today what signals it gave. Okay, what's like signals it gave? And, uh, hold on. Uh, you can see today it had five buys and three sells. We have seen it up to down here, so it, it saves you time. It saves you a lot of time. I know people who sit on the weekend, go through 500 charts. You know, you have better things to do on your weekend. If I could get an email containing this information, the, the email contains this information. I don't have anything in writing yet. We've just started this. We, but we send you the recording. Yeah, the recording goes to everybody. Recording will go to everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After it's posted and goes on Amazon, we send it to everybody. We put it on Twitter. We put it on YouTube, all that. We, we don't, you, Simon, there was a time I would talk to you guys one on one. Those days are done, gone. We have to use uh, audio visual. We have to use that. Uh, Social media, we have to use mass distribution of information. Not to be rude, but we just can't get to everybody anymore. It's just, it's called time and digest. Okay. If you have a complaint, complain to them. Once you get on that list and you stay on that list, it's a, it's, it's a Pandora's box. Yeah. Uh, there are good things and bad things with it. Yeah. But again, Gary, if you sign up be, be, before, you can do that. You can get it. I mean, we got to make a call off. We can't say, You'll be, you, we show you this and you sign up, you, you know, you're trying to beat the system, okay? But the next few days when we get things set up, then we say, okay, as of now, those who are already in would be grandfathered. You can use that place. I, I don't care. 250 a quarter is not going to make me richer or poorer. That's not the point. If you can use it and make a difference in your life and tell me about it, that's my pay. I get, I get more excited about that. My mom always said to me, Fanny, you're gifted, but remember, you can't take your brain with you either. Okay? That's a good lesson. Make sure you share and make sure others understand what you've done. Now, back then, I mean, I was a kid. What she saw in me, I have no clue, but oh, well. I still don't see much in myself. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Any other questions from anybody? Uh, uh, Christian had to go. I know you had a short time. Short issue. Uh, Mark, you in two, twice again. I don't know what's wrong there. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, Mark, would you would you join us and share some of your views, please, Mark Caffrey? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay, great. Yeah, no, um, uh, I can't add anything more than what uh, Bari and Mark have explained pertaining to the, um, the way the charts work, the way the radar screen works. 
Um, I am a more of a volatility trader, and um, I'm finding this tool um, very, very useful. Um, just as far as idea generation is concerned. Um, I've only used it a couple times for trades, mm -hmm. and so far it's working out. Um, I tend to recommend, um, you know, uh, expirations four to five weeks out because I have a little more wiggle room, especially with a, uh, a, a new system. Um, and I'm looking at everything on a daily basis. Um, I also have been using it for my personal account um, on a 60-minute uh, basis, and I find it very helpful. Um, I, um, I'll continue to use it, and um, the, 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 the way I pick out the spreads is also based on where the implied volatilities are trading. And I want to bring that to the customers um, and start recommending structures similar to the ones that I've recommended recently, which was um, protected straddles. So um, typically myself before um, a, uh, before earnings were coming out in a big name, like today it was Apple, um, it was Microsoft yesterday. I, I like to uh, sell premium, not a lot. Um, I only, uh, you know, issued a recommendation to sell a two lot of a uh, protected straddle today and yesterday. Um, yesterday's didn't work out. We got out pretty quickly today. If you got in at the right price, you made money, but the stock has obviously moved away, but I'm not that worried about it. Um, I think it's going to be a small loss, if anything. Um, and, uh, you know, as, as said, depending on volatilities, those are the types of things I'd like to recommend more. Um, it will also require a little more um, hands-on maintenance. Um, for instance, rolling the structure. Um, right now, we've got the, uh, we're short the, the November 27th, um, 115 straddle and long wings. Um, and what we might do tomorrow morning is buy that in and then immediately, if the volatility stays high, um, which it might be only because the stock is down and they did bring the volatility in um, pretty aggressively this afternoon, uh, we might roll it down to the 110 strike and stick with that for a couple of days. Um, so those are the types of things that I want to be able to do. Um, and uh, directional trades using the, uh, the, the radar screen and all the um, charts that go along with it, all the indicators is, uh, it's, it's very powerful. Um, I've been doing this for a long time and this is a very powerful product. <laughs> so my hat's off. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mark. Uh, folks, Mark is being very, very humble. His brother and I went to school together you saw the movie Big Short, it's about, all about him. Gil Caffrey ran Tiger and Front Point, and they shorted the subprime for Goldman Sachs and the, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, Morgan Stanley. Very, very bright family. His dad is a PMT client of ours, thanks to Mark. Dad, he's 92, 93, correct? Yeah, actually, yeah, he just turned 91. 91, okay. And he wants yeah. to get the radar, he wants to get the radar screen, okay? We just introduced him to Pierre Albino in Chicago to set it up. And he's an avid PMT follower. And I've, I've had the honor of being in his presence, I think once or maybe more than once. I forget, but I've talked to him several times. This guy was trading options in, in 1950s and 60s before there was Black Scholl model, before there was Siebel. In the back end, because he was an NYC specialist. So the whole family has been around the markets. Imagine. The conversation at the table. 
he was trading options with the one guy in the back. There was one of the especially his desk. They had an OTC basically over the counter. They had contracts. You go there and say, "Oh, I don't know, calls only." There were no puts. There was no black shoulder. No, there was no calculators to figure this out. Fair value. He would come and say, "Okay, I want to buy calls. What name? I want to buy I'd, only like Dow 30s." Okay, that's it. I want to buy Johnson Johnson. Okay, pick your strike. Pick your date. You would pick it. They would write it in the contract. It was over the counter. And they would keep it in a drawer. You each get a copy. You pay, you're in. Or as you sold, you get paid. Okay? And by the way, you're working down the other specialist desk, right? They know you. You're there. You're in the same building. Yeah, that was it. That's how these guys used to trade. And he's he's a very, very innovative fellow. I've had a couple of conversations with him. As I said, it's been my honor. Uh, so you could imagine what training Mark and Gil have had. And their other brother, Charles, also, but he's now in investment banking. But these two brothers, Mark and Gila, are awesome in trading. I think, especially complex stuff. You know, com- you know the, for example, the vol stuff. You know, I'm, I'm, I used to teach that at Sivo, but I'm, I'm a kid when it comes to these guys. I, I have to take notes, you know. So it's an honor for me to work with him. He runs our chat room. He's a great guy. And, uh, and he's, he's just down here in Florida, the other side. He's on the east side of Florida. And so uh, we've been collaborating for about a year, year and a half. And uh, when this came, I said, listen. I, I, this is, I know you're, you're more of a vol guy, but this can do a transition from a quantum standpoint, okay, right here, into a chart, okay? And then you take that and put it in the chat room. I, why did I take the conversation this way? Scott London just asked a question about how, how, is it connect, how, how that is connected uh, to uh, auto trading. No, auto trading is a legal issue, okay? Auto trading... Uh, has to get an email. Your money is parked with a broker. They have to get an email. For example, I think the station is starting it now. They didn't have it before. Uh, we do it through interactive. Uh, there's an IB, industry broker, sitting in Chicago. When Mark pulls the trigger, their name is, is, a, is, a, or is a comp. It's a comp to the same service or option service. They get that email. Their contract with you say, says the following. They, they have to follow the, 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 the IB the introducing broker for interactive has to follow the instructions that we send them in writing. Okay. Why? Because it's assumed as if you were sitting there yourself, except it frees you up. You don't have to sit there. And they cannot, if, for example, let's say we have a mistake in our uh, uh, position, let's say strike is off, or, or let's say uh, that, that price is not offered for that expiration. Sometimes they do that because they change these values. He's the first to know because he gets the email at the same time as anybody else. And the night before he loads all the accounts that are going to go in, they're ganked. The order goes in. Well, all at once. But if he doesn't, if the strike doesn't work on his machine, he's the one on the call saying, hey, Fanny or Mark, we got an issue. Now, of course, Mark doesn't have that issue, that problem I usually do because of his experience and so forth. But uh, and he uses a lot better, more complicated platforms than I have. Um, so that, those are the first ones. And they would execute for you. And they charge you a tiny bit over uh, the discount brokers. Why? They're, they're handling you. They basically take care of your money. The money's been interactive. I, I don't know who's the custodian of the cash itself. I don't think it's interactive because they're not a bank, but most likely either uh, Goldman or Morgan Stanley or JP Morgan are the custodian of the actual cash. Uh, the broker of record is uh, interactive. Uh, PTI, which we, we have a link to, is, your, uh, is the IP inclusive broker, so they can they can ask your questions, you deal with them, but they gang send it in for everybody. Now there's some downside to that. Uh, I did a lot of trade with Google. We put up 300 bucks at 10 minutes to go before the earnings. It took two minutes to report. Google reports early. It's not like Apple. That 300 bucks became 11,000. Why? The trade was mission impossible. I didn't think any sucker would take the other side of my trade. But some people did because they thought I'm the sucker. The trade was a hundred point above last price in a call spread that went to another 20 points. So I bought the hundred above the close, near the close because it was not, yeah, you can't buy that for the close, it doesn't matter. Sibo is not open. Sibo has a transaction. It was hundred, it was like 10 minutes to go, hundred above the close uh, of the last long and 120 short. So 20 point, 20 point spread. Anybody who looked at said, who is this stupid sucker who's paying me 300 bucks? Let me take his money and run. And I, I write on those. This is a lot of trade. We mark it. Black, the top, floor. 
red colors, black letters. You will lose this money. If you can lose this money, come in. If this money you need is going to change you, I mean, we always we put in one fifth, one eighth, one tenth of a regular trade because it's a lot. You pay a small amount. You know, before, instead of putting two thousand dollar bet, you put three hundred bucks, two hundred bucks. Saying, listen, it, it's going to be small. We're looking for a long shot. If it works, great. If it doesn't, you only lost hundred bucks. We're not betting a farm. But with that event, why do I bring this up? There wasn't enough fields. Remember, it's a gang. And there were not enough suckers with 10 minutes to go to say, oh, this idiot sent this order in. Let me take his 300 bucks and run. There were a few people who took our money. Next day, some of them were bankrupt. It's called lotto. Remember, this is a contract. And if you're short, it's not an option. It's not an option. It's not, it's not an option, really. It's a, if you're short an option, you don't have an option not to react. You have an obligation to act. And who keeps the if your money in place, the exchange has to. Otherwise, you, you'll never trade. So for integrity of a AAA-rated SRO, self-figuring organization, they got to keep those monies. And we got paid. But what happened at the IB, yeah, the PTI was that they were flooded with allocation. Why didn't we get all of this? I mean, I, we traded 10 contracts. But I do not put my trade in until the, the email has gone out and I got my copy. Okay. There's a loop back. I have the loop back in, and then I go in. And so in the chat room, we say, you get ready, five minutes, one minute, boom, there goes the trade. A lot of you have to. You have only 15 minutes total. Uh, I'll, I'll try to look at it for, 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 for Amazon, Netflix. It's a high name. It's got three, dollars $400 above. We never did it for CMG, but that could be. Uh, I think we did it for Priceline one time. My best luck has been Google and Amazon. Uh, we have got paid, uh, you know, 10 times to 30 times. And, the, and you're in the trade 30, 12 minutes. Because once it hits there, you know what the open is going to be. As a matter of fact, I had to, the run up on the Google was so high pre open, I had to borrow money short, borrow shares short, and sell them short. Because it drove it down. The money market makers were in deep trouble. But I locked that profit in by selling the short pre open. And then I have two trades on. So that did, we didn't put that into the other trade. You can't do that. I did it for myself. Uh, but I announced it. I said, this is what I'm doing. This is my fail. Da, 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 da. I was very nervous. And then at the close, at the open, I had to close both them. Come with the short and sell the options. But I locked in the max point of the price trajectory during post-lock. You remember the lock? The lock, the, you know, to 4 o'clock, the lock. The news comes at 4 2. You can't do anything with your options. But you can play with the, and now there's no longer single stock futures. That's the, that, ex that exchange also closed, which actually Mark uh, Esposito uh, helped uh, organize and then really took it to a status where uh, you could sell, you, you, were, you could be long and short futures. I think last expiry was the last day they traded. So with that gone, you can't exactly jump in futures, pure futures like NQ or ESN easily, that purely. You really need to touch the stock itself. And so that was a tough one. And I was trading through interactive, uh, so it was much easier to borrow it and do it with sell the shares on top, and then as it opens, the shares came down and met with the options, the calls. And you have to cover it too. So that we couldn't do it like that. But it's still, pure option guys got pretty good return. The problem there was allocation. We just, like everybody, got two to three contracts out of ten. There's just not enough fills given the number of people were there. That we cannot control, Scott. Okay, And that's in your contract. You'll see that. If there is a liquidity issue in some name, you will get triggered. You would get in, but not full amount. Okay, you gotta be aware of that. So that's how, that, that only happened one time. I just feel obligated. I should, I should tell you. Uh, but the, as far as what goes to other trade from here, we won't send anything in from here. But if you're in the option room with Mark Caffrey, then you can use other trading. Yeah, this this is a tool for somebody like Mark or. Marcus with or myself or Christian to use. But we don't we cannot just throw a trade like this to you. Either you have to be self directed, you do it all, or we have to go through our uh what do you call it, our uh, protocol. Let me show you that. Or for example, we did a trade today. Let me see where we are. Hold on. Let me see if I can open it here. Why we're we not opening here, hold on. Uh or do I have a sample? Hold on, let me have a option sample here in one second. Uh, hold on, let me find it before I do this. 
Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on one second. Uh, uh, let's see. Okay, hold on one second. I, I should have either there or because now he's doing. I mean, all of it is mostly he's done over there. Let me go there. Let me find in our option. Uh, Trades. There we go. Option trade. There you go. Here's some in the past, but uh, no. Why, why? Why it's not showing that? Hold on. Uh, what the heck is wrong here? It's not. This is the router. Okay. No. Let me open it with. Uh, let me open it with. Uh, open this with. Uh, no. Hold on. Hold on. Give it, open with the text path. No. Uh. Huh. Uh, Fari, excuse me for a minute. I, I have to run. Got to take okay. the, my son to hockey. I want to say good night to everybody and thank you. And uh, I'll be available for our next uh, webinar to help further explain this. Yeah, we probably have going to have another one. Once we get a few people in, then we get to the next stage. Yes. Guys, I'm trying to get to our Dropbox for the option trades before. Uh, I can't open my... Hold on. Let me do another trick. We'll get there. Give me a sec. It's just... Uh, I just hate what they call it, uh, Skype. Putting, when they put a Skype inside of a office, really mess everything up. Uh, you can't open Outlook that easily. Hold on. Outlook, there we go. So let me kill that. There we go. So I'm going to show you. Okay, now I'm going to open it up and show you Brian's running Chase or uh, the Dropbox, because that's our historical. Let me show you uh, uh, Apple trade today. Okay, I think we did Apple. Uh, Okay, Apple trade today. Okay, all right. So uh, there we go. What we do there, Scott, is this: you get an email, okay, that goes through the trade and shows you. Oh, something happened up there, guys. Okay, uh, I gotta help you guys. Okay, we we will tell you what we're doing. What's our thesis? There's a thesis. There. I gotta help. Something went wrong here. All right. Okay, but what's the beta? What's the pricing we're looking for? What what is the legs to it? Up to four legs. Okay, you can't go above that. And then uh, not false. I don't know what's wrong. Okay, and you could see uh, what to do. So it, it's it's an app, and then you come in and you go out. But that's what we send out. Because why? In the past, we've had issues where we wrote a piece of email and we missed the crucial part, and either time passed, the price moved. Customer was unhappy. It just never, never worked right. One of the gals who was actually used to trade with me, she suggested having a checklist, and it's really, really helpful because this way you 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 know how to fill the blanks. You know, so that's how it works. Any other questions for us, guys? Thank you, Jason. No problem. Any other question for us? Again, we'll keep you updated. Our purpose here was to give you, plant an idea in your mind, saying that's how the work technology works. I mean, listen, I worked on a F-18 and B-2. Never we thought at the end what it looked like. No, 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 no. I mean, F-18 started as a YF-17 for Air Force, turned out to be the front line for the Navy. All the carrier-based aircraft, all the carriers, all of our 11 carriers, they got at least two squadrons of that. That's a lot of dough for Northrop. And I had, I had the 41. I first I had the 4100 cost center, which was tail end with the stabilizers, and there were uh, uh, carbon, uh, you know, composites over titanium uh, levers to move it, to move it around. That was that was a tricky operation, and because of that, one day I got a call and they said uh, you're coming to lunch to executive dining room, but you need some some papers before you come in. And I said, what is it about? They said we can't tell you. Just come on in. So there they gave me the non-disclosure, which is for life. And my life started five, four, no, three years more of that was in the black projects, one of which was the B2 bomber, the stealth bomb. And so I got whisked away because I had some composite experience. Yeah, because for manufacturing, so yeah. So, uh, but all through that time, the aircraft changed, the, the, the systems changed, the, uh, some of the missions changed, it's an evolution. We're just letting you know to be in, uh, to be early on, and uh, those of you interested, you can uh, join us and uh, go forward. Why? Because if it creates what it's doing, and you follow some of the rules and have us as feedback to you, 
Uh, you remember, these people, you could email to us. You can email us for a question, what have you. I don't know, well, Nancy or Susie will staff it, make sure you get to the right person. So you get a feedback. And you, you don't have a chance. Room. You don't have any of that. This is that. This is a, you know, in the option room, you get the trades. This, you get the analytics. But this doesn't need to have a chance. Room. But you have a problem, you email us, we'll get back to you. Question is, TS cost this, TS cost is zero. If you put money in, put a thousand in there, you don't, you don't charge you. I think week uh, monthly is three hundred bucks for two ninety nine. Go go to subscriptions. Go to tradestation dot com. Look under subscriptions. I don't recommend you do that. I recommend you put money there. And and then they, they give you so much freebie on the commissions, and your money is there. The moment you're done, you take your money out. You know, in the meantime, you're trading there and so forth. You get all these tools. If you get the option station, you can trade execute right there. Yeah, rather than go to another platform. That's a little bit easier, guy. Okay? Yeah. But let me know. I can more than happy to put you in touch with uh, Peter Albino. He can get into detail for you far better than I can. Me, I'm comped. You know what I do? Are you kidding? I, I haven't paid, paid for data in years. Uh, for, for what I do, I mean, a lot of stuff. I mean, I get so much freebies, it's ridiculous. I hardly even use them. Uh, but that's what happens, uh, you know, when, when you run it. I mean, I ran the user group for 10 years. So they, they, didn't, they didn't pay us. But they give us a lot of freebies. So, but I think it's three hundred, and I know option, option. Uh, I mean, the, what do you call it? It's free. The radar screen. Okay. And and for a while we will have no problem, you guys, sharing this data, yeah, because we're doing this, we're doing it ourselves. You can see what we're looking at. We're not recommending you use these sizes. You're not at. You're not Marcus Pozzino. You're not uh, Mark Caffrey. Don't, don't forget the size. Because if also if it goes down, this is what problem we're gonna get. And we're gonna, I'm gonna get the detail of that, so we know that. But that's what you're gonna get when things are big. So, believe me, he's doing okay. He knows how to take care of himself. Some of the sizes he uses, yeah. But my point is, uh, you want to keep it simple. You want to be as his brother, his guild's uh, guild. Uh, Mark's brother said in my book, he was interviewed for my book, uh, Master Traders. He said, excellence is repeatability. Remember that. Excellence. If you can, if you can repeat what you've done, then then it's you. Otherwise, it's luck. You went to Vegas. You got lucky. You can't bank on luck. Okay. So excellence is repeatability. Okay. App is coming up a little bit. Any other questions for me? Or or for Mark Caffrey. Marcus, we don't have to go, but we appreciate your time. I will probably have another one of these for you, and we'll, we'll let you know in advance. Sorry we had to reschedule this. Sorry the code wasn't ready. Then I had no internet on Tuesday. We didn't have internet until Wednesday afternoon. So Sunday night, it went down. It had been crazy uh, since then. Uh, and then, obviously, um, uh, I had a doctor's appointment for my, my dog uh, very far away. We had to drive up, uh, I think, 90 minutes north of here. And then they couldn't tell me when he would be done because it was a uh, potentially uh, a prep time for surgery. It was just really nerve wracking. Uh, Christian came to me and he said, listen, I have a dog that's sick. Uh, your dog, uh, you know, is a little bit younger, but you can't, you can't schedule this uh, meeting. You gotta let it go because you're not gonna be, you're gonna be discombobulated. You're not even gonna do a good job. as a new technology. Just let it go, Tell, just reschedule it. And then that went to what, Thursday. And then Thursday became Monday, it went to Tuesday, and then Tuesday, uh, yeah, Tuesday became, yeah, Tuesday went to Thursday. Oh, then Mark could have come to Tuesday, Thursday, because he had the schedule off. But to Tuesday, this Tuesday, Tuesday, we had no internet. So, I will. Yes, yes, Ken had a, Ken Simmons, yes, Simon, good point. Ken had the, Ken had the audacity to ask, does this thing run on trace, uh, on radio screen or any way I could, can I write in Excel? Yeah, you didn't first say the rest screen. Can I run this in Excel? Is there any way you can write a code for Excel? I said, how are you going to get the data? Why don't we take Excel into this? You know, because you got to get, remember, you guys haven't dealt with, we built a data capture module. When I was doing the bond futures on a, a neural network, we did it on a Unix. It wasn't even, we didn't even know TradeStation existed. This is 1992. So we wrote it on a software called, I mean, a hardware called SparkStation. In that, we had to build everything, the charting, the charting module, the data capture module, the, the filtering. Who wants to do all of that? Somebody has already done it. We spent about a year just to show one chart. That's not very smart. 
But there was no such a thing as real time. Train station back then was the only single real time uh, of, uh, graphical environment that could handle futures. Oh, here comes one eight three. It's okay. So uh, we learned our lesson, and that's how I became, I think, hundred fiftieth. So we're in the first hundred fiftieth customers of Trade Station. Uh, that was the time back then. You didn't have free calls. You didn't have a fixed cost for your call. Not free, fixed cost. You know, one price was off. My phone bill to Trade Station alone was three to four hundred dollars a month. My ex wife used to say, "What is going on here?" I said, "I have a question." And they had all kinds of problems. It wasn't as sophisticated. The company wasn't that big. It wasn't public. Two brothers run it. Bunch of egos. You have no idea. And even me, who was running the user group in LA, still. Barry would call you back. Or here's a problem. Now it's a different mature company. Monix owns them. This is out of Japan. And you, you could see this. So you could see the offices. Listen, they started in a bedroom with one of those fold out desks that comes out of their closet. That was Sam Tennis sat there to write this code. These two kids came from, uh, they, were, they were violinists. They went to Juilliard's uh, school in, in New York from Cuba. But they came from Cuba, and uh, Sam Tennis, who lives in South uh, Miami now, was their coder, first coder. And I got to know him, and then I invited him to give a talk for us in California. And his buddy, Miles Dunbar, which is my good buddy now, he actually wrote our PayPal connection to talk to PayPal to, uh, uh, to uh, the, the easy language. So that automatically, it, Handles your accounting, and I mean your account, your access and all that. But Ken had to ask the question: Is there any way you can put this stuff in an Excel? I said no, no, no. There is an Excel already in this. Let me activate it. But then, I, last time I did, I was honest with him. I said, last time we used this, this wasn't working. We gotta get we gotta understand what it takes. So I called it, and the product manager, who was not you know, my clerk, said, Barry, it's working now. Please go there. I know your issues before your concerns, uh, but go in there. If you have any problems, let me know. And he's been a great help. In any, we did some of the speed up programming, some of the color stuff, you know, some of the formattings. He's been, he's been my buddy. Let's just pick up the phone. I mean, last night we talked at 9, 11 o'clock last night. I have his cell phone. I call at home. I just call him at home on the cell phone. He has a problem. This morning he called and says, Hey, I'm going to get this code for you. Just don't panic. I said, I'm not panicking. I know you would. And by the way, this is a uh, sports parabolica. Uh, it's their uh, uh, option station. We, we help with this areas, you know, the analysis when the payoff curves come out of that. We, Admiral and I did back when I was in Chicago. And now Mark Caffrey is helping him with some of the stuff on volatility. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so we're, look, we're helping them, they're helping us. But we, we, have, we have to keep it health level only. It has to be a Chinese wall. We cannot, we cannot talk to, <laughs> involve cash. Yeah, there's no incentive because there were advisors, there are brokers, big. Big no no. Yeah. Anything else? Anything else I can answer, guys? I'm I'm trying to get this thing wrapped up if possible. Uh, Bill Gavin, good uh, good afternoon, sir. Uh, hi, Clyde. Long time no see. Gerard, glad to see you, sir. Here, Dr. Atkins. What an honor to be here, here with you. I appreciate that, sir. Uh, Jeff Jeff Pierce, of course. Jeff, you got everything. I've sent you everything there. Uh, Keith, of course, Keith too. Many send me a note, we'll get you started, okay? Mark, uh, Michael uh, Sosnowit, pleasure, sir, to see you again. Of course, Monroe. Paul Chant, who are you up? Okay, you're up. Oh, you're in the afternoon there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I keep on forgetting. Rob Brady, bravo, sir. Peter Green, Robin, hi. Uh, and of course, uh, Thomas Steer. All right, guys. It was a pleasure to see you guys. We'll get going. Wish us luck. I think this will solve some of the issues out there for. Uh, consistent swing trading of options. You can do stocks too, but then where's the smart stuff? You know, there's, no, there's no leverage. You got to put a lot of money out there. This allows you to uh, use leverage uh, judiciously by, by timing what, what you need to do. The issue is the timing. You know why? Hold on. Hold on. Here, uh, by, by, this, by this event right there, it says short. Look at that. Look at that. Boom. I just took anything. Took AR. Uh, oh, hold on. Sorry, sorry. This has to be uh, uh, global too. Put global for me. Blue. Okay, now. Because now this ties to uh, my trades, uh, the option station. I haven't done that much. Yet. But here it is. So take anything. Let's say AXN. Boom. You can see the, you can see the buy there. Okay. But look where this started. 
Okay. Look how he went to green on a DMZ diff. And that was it. It was never violated. And now woof, goes. So it, this is nothing new. We've worked on this for a long time. We just haven't had the presentation like this. And we haven't had a collaborative move that we have now to go there and get this out to you. And this was done, by the way, this started Saturday. I mean, there's some trades that were gone earlier before, obviously. But as we're coming to this week, you see, because we're doing it in real time, we're getting more of the data in there for you. Once we get into that, you know, 100 t trade, the early ones are forgotten. But I mean, we try to set up a framework where all of us think the same way, all of us solve the same issue so that you guys have more visibility. Again, you will have access to this too. For the time being, not a question at all. But let us get there and we'll let you know. Okay. Anybody interested, send us a note. We have opened a folder for people to put their name. Jason, I put Jason in, there. in that folder pending where we are ready to go there. Probably a week or two. Probably a week from now. We'll be close. But remember, just be remember, it's like a three trials and three beta tests. You're going to get updates. You're going to get things that you need to take a look at one more time. Uh, but most of the work is done. And we also get a TSW file. Remember, it has to be trade station. Version 10, okay, update 49. If you have traces, they already update you because otherwise these versions don't match, okay? So you get the indicators and you put the indicators in first, then you open up the tab, okay? You can't do it otherwise because they're, they're, they're not found and it'll wipe them out. The trace is a new one, which I don't like. It would take the indicator out and you cannot find it in the library. So first you want to put in the indicators, then that. We'll put that in writing to you as a reminder. All right, let me get out of here. I got to take the little one for a walk. Uh, thank you, Gary. No worries. No problem. We'll see you guys soon. I'll post this thing and send you a copy to everybody that registered. Good night.